these are the Hopewell Mounds in Hopewell, Ohio, right? No, Chillicothe, Ohio. Chillicothe, Ohio. I guess it's the Hopewell is the name of the Indians. Hopewell culture, yeah. Yeah, the culture. Uh, how many acres out there? Do you remember? Twelve hundred acres or something like that altogether. Yeah, it's quite a few, and some of these mounds are 20, 20 acres around. But I don't, not right here. I think these go in a big, a big area of more than we can see. I think it's Forty acres. Forty okay. right here. So we'll go out here and check some of these out. Okay, I don't know if you guys can notice it or not, but Jack just mentioned that. Uh, there's a big berm all the way around this thing. Can you see that? Now, I don't know why they did that. It goes all the way around over that way. Uh, we tried to watch a little movie about it. I guess did that so you'd know that it's not something you're supposed to just go into. Yeah, maybe it's like a fence. It's a sacred site. Okay, this mound we just passed here, Jack. What did they say about it? This is a uh, mound 13 that the army leveled to uh, build a barrack. Then I guess in the, what, the 20s, they excavated and found a lot of uh, archaeological finds and relics. I guess they restored it after that. They found four bodies in there buried under a sheet of what? M mica. Mica. And mica, they said, is not even found in Ohio, so we don't know where that came from. We don't know where it came from yet. We did notice some huge trees out here. Old trees. Some old ones, yeah. So this is an army base, and my first question, which we hadn't read yet, was uh, why did they build a barracks over that one and not the others, and was it just one small barrack here? I guess they had to restore it after they removed the barrack. Well, we just walked down by the river. It's not maybe 100 yards behind us. And uh, these are the main mounds in this area. And it looks like it's a big square area from the maps. So I guess this is the higher mounds, this one and the next one. But we also got an oblong, or what do you call it, a long mound coming up here. And it looks like that mound didn't got forced away. Right here, yeah, you can see it's a nice long one here. And some short ones out through there. Okay, me and Jack come over here and looked at this, and we seen these posts in the ground, and and thought maybe it was a ceremonial ceremonial dance type thing, but actually this is where they're what they call these wigwams or something. I haven't read yet, but this is how big it was in the post they found the way it was laid out. which I don't know how they did that because this happened 2,000 years ago, right? This whole building, I think, a noble seat. Yeah, and it wasn't discovered till what we say, 1780, I think. And uh, so maybe this is a representation, not where they really found post. I don't know. I don't know. That's their petrified, petrified post. It might be molded. It might be. Now, after reading uh, the little pamphlet over there, they talked about the two round mounds surrounded by the egg, egg long one. What they call it? E elongated. elongated one here in the middle. And they said they all they went together. They uh, they 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 thought it represented something. All three of them together. And then, what was your theory? Well, after studying it a little closer, we notice we have a large, uh, small mound. It's a little bit further away from the elect elliptical mound. Then you have a larger mound that's closer. And you notice in the, the male anatomy that this might be a phallic symbol where, you know, one testy hangs a little lower than the other and one's a little larger than the other. So more than likely, this small mound represents the Y chromosome for uh, to produce the female child or the large testy the male child and as you can see this is uh, the oblong mound is the phallic to go with the group and that's the, the closest to the, 
things I've been able to work that out. Well, actually, I think that's real good for just you know spending what 15 or 20 yeah, minutes on it. We've only been here a half hour. Yeah, half an hour. So yeah, pretty good theory. Uh, I think it works. Now, now you know, at least we're thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Now my theory is we're walking on a bunch of mold. I don't know if y'all can see them. Mold tunnels all over the place. And I'm just thinking maybe that's all these are. It might have been a congregation of moles. Yeah. These moles are making mountains out of these mole hills. Yeah, yeah. That, that's my theory so far because they're all over the place. Y'all can't probably see them, but I can stomp on them. <laughs> and uh, this is a mole city for sure. Uh, it looks like somebody went and I bet you they dug this out but where we saw the red flags maybe back here earlier by the river and they got a sifter and I guess they're gonna sift this out and look for some stuff. And I was down here looking and there, thought I seen a toad, something. Small toad. I don't see it, but right here. Oh yeah, right there he is jumping around there. Yeah. He fell from the sky a minute ago. And uh Where's that thing I found? I found a, I thought it was a piece of pipe or something. Just looking in here. Right here. See how round that is on the outside? And it's broken on this side. So I think that might be a piece of a pipe or a piece of artifact. And I'll let them, the experts see. Let the experts determine that. Hmm. Now we, we came in, uh, from the mounds down that way and here's that berm going through the woods so we're going to follow it on back in here and see what it looks like very interesting place the river's on down here i don't know if you guys can see it Somebody's this might be where the dirt come from been stepping all over that. they threw the dirt back in the hole right there okay we've walked outside the berm here and there's the other mound that's in the woods that we talked about earlier so we followed the berm through the woods and now we've got lined up with the elongated mound, which is straight ahead. And I notice it lines up with two smaller mounds. There's one in front and one right here. And uh, it started making me think it looked almost like a playing field of some sort. We got three, we got four mounds over there. We got four mounds over here, like. And it's a heck of a field, though. But... So another theory, a conjecture. What do they call it? On in search of conjecture. Conjecture. Yeah, may they not necessarily be. Conjecture. Yeah, and that's that's what we're trying to do here. Trying to conjecture. I don't know if you guys can see it. I took a picture of one earlier. They got these monstrous, big old black fly bees. Japanese wasps. Or something. Japanese wasps or something. You got to be careful. They're all over the place. I don't know if they'll hurt you or not. But yeah. I don't want to find out. They hurt real good. Okay, we're leaving the mound. Uh, Museum and Man Park, historical park, his whatever. <laughs> and, <laughs> culture. Yeah, and uh, National Monument. And thought we would do a recap on what we learned and, and what we thought about it. There's the one mound they'll let you. I think they might let you climb on that one. I don't know, but we didn't try it. And we didn't ask. So this is called the what? The wise guys approach to uh, archaeology. Archaeology. It was interesting, to say the least. I could have spent, you know, it's right beside the prison. Actually, I got a new theory already. There's another prison in front of us. We the guys that yeah, we were digging, piling up dirt. Yeah, maybe they're digging over to the mounds. Uh, or maybe Mound City was once a prison camp. Instead of breaking rocks, they had to dig dirt. Bad Indians had to dirt, dig dirt 